and welcome to this UCD School of Agriculture and Food Science Agricultural Sciences Facebook broadcast. My name is Damien Dempsey. I'm the marketing manager here in the School of Agriculture and Food Science and I'm going to moderate today's discussion. I'm delighted to be joined by my colleague, um, Dr. Bridget Lynch, who is the academic program coordinator for the Animal and Crop Production Program. Uh, and by two final year students on our programs, Niall Diffley, who is a final year uh, food and agribusiness management student, and Eileen McGarry, who's a final year animal sciences student. So thank you all for, for joining us. Um, before we commence, uh, I might just to advise people that we are going to try uh, and respond to any questions that come in during the session, and we'll try to respond to some of those during the session, but also after the session, we'll be responding to any questions or queries that people have uh, on our social media channels. And you can find us at, at UCD Ag Food. So, Bridget, we might start with you, if that's okay. Um, I guess people who are logging in maybe today are interested in studying agricultural sciences at UCD. Um, maybe we might start off with maybe describing some of the unique features of studying agricultural science here at UCD. Yeah, I guess UCD is a long, long tradition of agricultural science um, in the country. And, you know, obviously we don't rely on that tradition, but um, it's a good starting point with regards to linkages and established internships and things like that. So I guess we have a great breadth of options for students. So if they come in under the DN250, um, they can still have a little bit more time in first year to make up their mind between animal science, animal and crop production, the food and agribusiness management, um, the uh, ag systems technology, um, and the food business with Chinese studies. So you do have a great breadth of choice when you come in. It's not just agricultural science. Um, I think probably your unique selling points are our long tradition of uh, professional work experience program or internships. Yes, yeah. um, that's been on the go for a long, long, long um, a number of years. Um, our students are encouraged to go abroad, and I think that's probably the, the second exposure to interna internationalization for our students. So um, in stage three, um, we've developed um, over the last maybe 15 years the study abroad program so students have the choice to go abroad in stage three semester one um, and go to universities largely in the US but also in Australia and New Zealand um, and then in the second um, semester or third trimester of stage three they start their professional work experience and um, we would all encourage them to do an element or all of it abroad just to get um, some experience or exposure um, and to sort of bring that internationalization is is i think one of our unique selling points and that's a good point actually and i think the students that we have later in the discussion have both had an opportunity to, to professional work experience is something that features very strongly in terms of their experiences and how highlights uh, and also the semester abroad program and you mentioned Bridget uh, I suppose the other part that the School of Agriculture and Food Sciences are, are lots of expertise among you and your colleagues mm. in terms of research and mm. um, would it be useful maybe just to, to describe some of that research or the the academic rigor that underpins the programs perhaps as well yeah so all of the lecturers will be engaged in research um, and research would underpin our teaching um, for a lot of us that teach into say animal science, animal crop production um, programs, um, dairy business, we have research programs that are based at UCD Lions Farm and we use, I guess the, the role of the farm firstly is for education so students come out and do practicals at the farm um, and then it's also for us to do research and to do research projects. Um, and those projects, again, you know, industry, we have lots of industry linkages. They're funded by a number of different, I guess, national bodies, but also by the EU or international bodies as well. So the research that we do has national relevance, but it is peer reviewed and published internationally. Yes. Yeah. And I saw that research is, is um, very highly regarded internationally. As you said, it was UCD were ranked number one in Ireland in agricultural sciences and the subject rankings very recently by the US News and World Report rankings, fifth in Europe and 19th in the world. So it's an extraordinary achievement mm. by the quality of research that's taking place at Lions Farm. And just again, a lot of 
air interactions with prospective students, Lions Farm often comes up. Can you just maybe describe how mm. that's important to the university and to the School of Ag and Food Science? So from the research, but maybe the types of content that students or contact that students would have with the farm as well. Yeah, so the farm, just very briefly, it's about 600 acres. Um, most of that is grassland. There, there is cereals and a tillage land use out there um, that's used commercially and also for research. Um, there's 200 dairy cows, uh, about 350 mid-season lamb and yews, um, and that, that's sort of the commercial um, enterprises that are out there. And then we do have a, a pig unit, um, we've got horses, um, we've got goats, you, you could see any kind of <laughs> random animal out there, um, and they underpin the research and different research projects that are ongoing there. Um, so the students would uh, get exposure to those projects, I guess, when they're out doing the practicals, but also in the lecture theatre, it filters into our teaching as well. Um, so I would think they very much know what's going on out there and what we're doing. Um, I guess a lot of the researchers would, you know, promote what they do um, on social media, um, Twitter and things like that. And we have a lot of visitors to the farm. So yes. we have a lot of international groups that visit the farm, um, policy makers, um, industry. We host a, a lot of say training events for ind agri industry in, in Ireland um, and I guess importantly our our work is very much aligned to to farmers um, so we get multiple um, discussion groups throughout the year um, we host in the dairy side and the dairy team we host a discussion group day once a month um, and we could have 1500 farmers through the gate um, per annum so what we do as we say it's 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 peer reviewed internationally but has has huge relevance on a national basis absolutely and, and just to describe that in terms of contact time with the farm students these are academic scientific based programs professional work experience is one of the ways within which students fulfill the professional mm. Uh, mm. work experience requirements of the program and the students on some of the relevant programs will have access to Lions Farm in final year in particular, I guess, maybe one day per week. Um, they're typically there, I think, one day per week. And also health, welfare and safety. Students are often out in the farm in advance of PWE, Bridget. Is that if that's correct? Yeah, in stage three, there's uh, soil science practicals on the farm. Um, there's reproduction um, practicals at the okay. farm. In second year, the health, safety and welfare, they get involved in the lambing um, That's right, yeah. in stage two Enjoy as that. well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then in final year, yeah, on Mondays, it tends to be a day a week. And also from this year, they have sheep production um, in semester two. So that's maybe two days a week. Okay. Uh, or no, sorry. Uh, they do maybe two days throughout the semester. Um uh, of sheep practicals as well. At Lions Farm, At okay, Lions Farm, okay, yeah. great. And just coming back to some of the other kind of unique selling points, I guess, if we're aware of studying agricultural sciences here at UCD, um, you mentioned the global experience mm. um, and UCD being Ireland's global university. What does, might that mean to students or what might that look like to students if they decided to enrol on the ag science degree here at UCD? Yeah, I guess it's important to say that ag science, even though this is a big campus and, you know, we've got other campuses internationally that the ag science students um the community is very tight here yeah. so even though it's a big university everybody knows each other including the, the staff and lecturers and students and that um but from a, a global point of view i guess the the first exposure maybe is the study abroad option and more and more students are doing that every year um but because it's an exchange program with the other universities um international students come here and study agricultural science as well. So in final year this year, I had um, a student from New Zealand, from Australia and from um, the States doing my grassland course. Yes, so they yeah. had a great dynamic. They're sitting in the middle of our own students. They're adding, you know, asking questions that are, you know, relevant to them. That's, you know, maybe not Irish context, but they all learn from each other. Yes, of course. Um, so I think even if they don't do the study abroad, they still get exposure to you know, international agriculture by the students that we bring in and that filter into our programs um, throughout the stages. And I know the curriculum is an international curriculum that, yes. that, that's, that's um, delivered uh, within the school. So that's really good. And then I suppose one question that we often get from prospective students, and I'm sure there's some people logging in today who are, who are uh, have 
queries around the career opportunities, employability. I mean, employability for ag science graduates, um, they have pretty enviable uh, employable employment uh, opportunities. Mm -hmm. Would you maybe just like to, to, to mention that? Um, yeah, so we have um, strong industry links, and I guess that's not just, you know, when they're looking to employ your students as graduates. Um, we have a uh, an award ceremony that we run every year in November, and many of those awards from stage one to stage four are sponsored by industry partners. Um, I guess most of the lectures, you know, students get sick of listening to us all the time, so we very much... Uh, you know, are conscious of getting outside people in to yeah. talk to them as well. So in our lectures, um, we would get industry, uh, you know, um, collaborators um, and friends and colleagues in to give an industry perspective in our modules too. So that's an exposure. Obviously, the professional work experience, um, you know, our students are out on placement, um, you know, with farmers as well as agribusinesses and different industry partners. Um, and then there's a long-standing careers fair that the students organise themselves as part of the Agricultural Society um, and ASA, and that runs um, every year and is, is hugely successful, um, you know, judged by the amount of companies that come along to meet our students every year. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. yeah, very strong mm. linkages there with employers. And we might hear a little bit about the careers fair later in terms of some of the great work that AGSOC, the local student society, are involved with. So we might move on. Thank you, Bridget. We might move on to, to Niall. Um, Niall, um, as Bridget's handing over the baton there to, to you, um, you're a final year food and agribusiness management student. Maybe it might be nice just at the start to describe or introduce yourself uh, and maybe how you ended up at UCD Ag Food. Uh, no problem, Damien. Um, as I said, my name is Niall Diffley. I'm a final year food and agribusiness student. Um, from Le Caro in South Roscommon, come from a suckler and beef farm. Um, being the youngest of three guys growing up, I think it was apparent quite early that going taking over the farm wasn't really an option for me. So I guess coming to study in UCD, I guess, was one of the, the routes that I had to take. And lucky enough, I quite enjoyed school and I liked school. So that was um, an avenue that I was quite happy to go down. Um, originally, t to be honest, I wanted to be a teacher going up until about fifth year secondary school. And then I took the Leaving Cert Ag Science course, and I think it was yourself that came in to do a talk um, just to sell the school or um, inform us about the, the ag degree and things like that. And I saw the Food and Agribusiness course, and it was a mix between ag and business. and my two favourite subjects in Leaving Cert were Ag Science and Business Studies. So I thought, wow, okay, this suits me down to the ground. This is an avenue I really want to go down. So that was my primary focus for my for about the last year and a half Brilliant. my Leaving Cert cycle. And then did the Leaving Cert. I was short points originally. Um, I went back to repeat the, the Leaving Cert to get into UCD. And thankfully, I appealed with my ag Leaving Cert Ag Science paper, and I, my appeal was successful. I got offered my place, I think, in October. And then after contact with yourself, I decided to take the year out. And then I um, worked for the year just in a local retail store and um, started then in 2016. So Brilliant. I did my Leaving Cert in 2015. And started then UCD the following year yeah, that's and it's, it's actually it's very interesting you would say that as opposed of the 340 odd students that commence their programs in stage one each year many students come through the leaving certificate route and have just done their leaving cert exams as you said there's alternative entry pathways some students maybe go through the appeals process and are encouraged then to uh, delay the commencement of their of their um, their degree until the following year there are a number of alternative entry pathways with QQI FET being a particularly strong linkage and, and, and route there at the moment um, so then you fast forward you come into the agribusiness can you maybe just describe some of the modules that you've taken as a, as a food and agribusiness management student um, yeah no problem um, I think one of the things Brid Bridget said there was the depth of degree but I think also within the degrees is a great um, depth of modules as well yeah. so first year we came in every um, I guess every degree course uh, has a common first year so we all do our maths physics chemistry biology and then in this from about the second semester onwards we started doing more business um, based modules and then for the last couple of years I've done everything from 
um, business management, finance, business law, accounting, economics, a bit of marketing. So it really has all with the uh, with the agri food sector in mind. Yes. So I think that's been a real um, help to me, and I think will re- be a real um, asset to me going forward in my career that I've had that the breadth, but also the depth within the modules as well. So really, it's not just an overview. You're getting deep down into the the content and really learning and challenging yourself I think which, yeah, is, which is a great um, thing to have in the degree. Yeah and there's a great variety of modules as you clearly yeah, said they're exactly. overlapping both science and business on the particular program that you're enrolled on and I guess all students have their particular aspects of the programs that they enjoy and um, we might look at professional work experience um, specifically but you've also had some other work experiences outside of the professional work experience environment. would you like to maybe just to, to comment on that yeah no problem so after my um, second year I guess I realized that I didn't have any industry experience per se and I knew that PWE was coming up so I thought it might be useful to to get a taste of the sector per se and um, so I got in touch with Agri Aware and they were I was fortunate enough for them to come back to me and offer me a summer internship So I did a lot of um, sort of event management and project work with them. So we um, do a lot. We did a lot of work in um, the the Dublin Zoo, the family farm in Dublin Zoo, and we also had a presence at Bloom, uh, Flavors of Fingal, I think Sheep 2018, and then I finished up early because I headed to the States for study abroad in in August. But I also had a hand in um, preparing for things like the Tullamore Show and the ploughing as well before I did. Leaves. That was a great experience just to get a, a taster for the sector and sort of maybe give me a, a, a bit more of a look in to see what I might like coming into PWE. And I think that that summer internship definitely pointed me in the right direction of where I wanted to go down and also gave me great contacts within the industry as yeah, well, you know. Yeah. And there's a lot of it's, it's funny when you come when you go into the workplace. Nearly everyone you come across is a is an ag- is a grad from <laughs> UCD ag science. They're everywhere. So I think once you say that you have the ag degree, I think everyone y- y- it's it's kind of an in there. I think or people say, oh, is such a such a person still lecturing there? It's it's a it's a nice icebreaker. And I guess they know that when you've been in UCD and they've studied there, that it's a it's a quality course and you're getting a quality degree out of it. Well, as you said, there's instant recognition and maybe reassurance to employers that you know that you've um, the, the 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 path that you've taken and the the, the subjects that were were uh, were studied as well. And we're familiar with Agri, where we work very closely with them. They're terrific, and I'm sure there was lots of linkages with industry from your time um, in in, in Agri, where as well. You mentioned the um, semester abroad program. I know that's a particular highlight for uh, a number of our students. This year, we understand that about 50 students have made an application to apply to, to the semester abroad program. Um, can you maybe just describe that experience um, from beginning to end and what some of the benefits were from, from the semester abroad program? Yeah, no problem at all. So um, I guess the whole thing started in about the second year. We attended the, the study abroad fair that's run by the School of um, Agriculture and Food Science. And we were um, given presentations on the different colleges we could attend in the States, um, Australia, New Zealand. And um, once, I was, once I went to that, I was like, right, OK, this is definitely something I want to do. So I um, put the head down, started working, had to get the grades to earn my place on, the, on this study abroad program. And I um, was happy to get a place at Purdue University, which is in Indiana. It's about two hours south of Chicago. And there was actually nine of us ended up going to Purdue, okay. which was quite unprecedented at the time because demand was so high. So I think that's a testament to the quality of the program and what we'd heard from other students that that demand was there and that um, UCD was and Purdue were able to accommodate that was really good for us. Um, Purdue was a, it was an intense experience, I think. I think the, the education system over there um, is just a different way of learning. They're more continuous assessment based there's exams nearly in every there's little quizzes in every class and stuff like that but it was definitely it was challenging but a great learning experience as well because we went over there to a university which is ranked quite high as well and none of us felt out of our depth or felt like we thought right we can compete with these guys these guys are no better or worse than us so I think that really has helped us that mindset even will help us in the future. I think even in interviews are coming up into careers where you're dealing with international players 
I think you're right, we can really um, compete with these guys and that we're on the same level as them. I think even from a, move on then from just a cultural point of view, like getting to know different culture education systems um, has really helped. And even the recognition of Purdue as a university, we traveled to from, we were in Chicago, New York, LA, and anywhere we went with the Purdue sign, those it was instantly recognizable over there. So that's a great that's going to be a great asset for us. Um, if any of us ever do um, plan on traveling to the states to work or anything in the future, so looking back, it's definitely been a, 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 a highlight. It sounds like an incredible experience. Yeah, it was, it was an something. absolutely amazing experience to be honest. It's yeah. I loved every minute. And very reassuring, actually, you say, you know, I mean, Bridget mentioned about the importance of a global education and how the, your academic leaders are nudging students in every, uh, where possible, to encourage students to have an international experience, whether that's in the classroom with international students here at UCD, whether it's your work experience, whether it's the semester abroad program, and of course, in many other ways as well, through volunteering, um, et cetera. But the, 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 you know, UCD, School of Agriculture and Food Science, are, are, in the business, I guess, of developing the future leaders for the agri-food sector, and by having such an international experience, and you mentioned about you know with peers internationally, that that fe you felt that that um, you were well equipped to uh, to uh, for your for your future career. I guess um, professional work experience is actually separate to the semester abroad program. So can you maybe briefly describe Niall as well, um, just some of the opportunities and experiences that you've had as part of your professional work experience in Tord year as well. Yeah, I came back from the States then and I started my professional work experience with IFAC Food and Agribusiness. Yeah. So we provided um, strategic consultancy to the Irish farming food and agribusiness sector. So that work involved a lot of um, research, a lot of strategy work with clients, um, a bit of tax and finance also. But it was really dealing with um, um, small and medium enterprises in the food and agribusiness sector which was really gave me a great insight into people who you know were taking a risk to go and set up businesses and be entrepreneurial and create employment for themselves and those um, in their area, especially in rural areas, which I think is going to be very important for the future of rural development to um, uh, sustain rural areas. And I think um, that placement gave me a great insight into that and a more of a commercial uh, viewpoint into the sector as well and also the contacts that I built up there and the the mentors and the relationships that I built within IFAC and the broader um, sector will definitely be a great asset to me going forward anyways. Brilliant, brilliant and I guess I suppose we were just chatting off air the final year exams are uh, in focus at the moment um, and uh, you've got some of those scheduled to take place next week and some of those already behind you through continuous assessment and whatnot. How do you feel about the future as you're kind of coming down the, the, the road towards graduating um, from the programme very shortly? Um, the future is very bright I think. Um, I think the food and agribusiness degree and the ag science degree in general has given me a fantastic base to, to work upon. I think um, through the, the placement, the study abroad and the, the academic learning has really um, whetted the appetite for, for further study and further travel as well. I think if once you get abroad or once you go abroad, I really think that it, it encourages you to go more, to travel more. And I think that's something I'd quite like to do as we go forward. And I think um, one thing I always get asked by mostly the parents, but other people as well, you know, what, what are you going to do when you <laughs> graduate or what can you do? And to be honest, any, anything I think, I think going from where people went on their professional work experience, you know, it was so diverse. And I think going, looking into the future, then I think it's wherever you want to go or whatever whether it be in Ireland or abroad or whatever sector you want to go into, I think it's like coming to university. It's just do what you love and follow what you love, and I think you'll be will be fine and get on pretty well. Yeah, and what you're passionate about, and your passion clearly comes through. Lyle, thank you Absolutely. very much. I think we might get you to pass the baton over to Eileen McGarry. Um, Eileen, you've been sitting there <laughs> listening to, to the various contributions up until now. Um, thanks for joining us. You're a final year animal science student. Um, yes. Again, we might get you just to introduce yourself, if you would, and again, how you arrived here as an animal science student at the School of Agriculture and Food Science at UCD. 
Um, my name is Eileen Gary and I'm from Longford. I come from a farm background, suckler beef, and I, from a young age, we were always involved in showing cattle and that kind of thing. So, passion for agriculture kind of went through all my siblings, and we all we are all very passionate about it. And it's kind of a family thing. So, I think when I came to Leaving Cert, I didn't know what to do, and I kind of thought several routes, and I kind of always came back to ag. Do you know, when you just have a passion, just follow it. I don't think there's any other advice. I don't think, think about the rest, just whatever you're passionate about. Brilliant. Passionate about food and agriculture, follow it. And animal science then is structured within the DN250, the ag science cluster of programs, as is food and agribusiness management. Yeah. Did you know when you were coming in, it's animal science I want to do, or were you still, was the door still very open to any of the six options that were available to I you? I think I always had animal science in mind, and then I did an omnibus option. Okay. And I suppose at the end of first year, everyone is gets in a big panic. Oh my God, what do you <laughs> pick? Um, but there's a lot of talks and there's a lot of information going on, and you talk to people that went ahead of you. And I suppose the the idea is, if animals is your passion, stick with animals. So that's where I went anyway, um, and it's been fantastic. I okay. mean, it's when you come when you graduate, everyone treats you're a UCD ag graduate. I mean, it doesn't really matter what you pick. It's kind of it's broad. You have you don't you don't um, you still have all your options there. Yes, the you didn't feel as if you were closing any no. doors as a result of choosing animal science. And it's a terrific program. It's a very broad degree program in its own right. And for students who are logging in who are also interested perhaps in veterinary medicine, many students often yeah. look at animal science as a, as a progression pathway into, a, into the graduate entry program in, in veterinary medicine. If you're interested in that route, um, best to get in touch with us and we can go through the various steps that are involved with pursuing uh, veterinary medicine as an animal science student or indeed any of the other uh, ag science degrees available at UCD. So maybe just to get a sense of some of the subjects that you've studied as an animal science student, maybe just to name check some of the modules, I'm sure you've got some of those <laughs> to the forefront of your mind now with exams coming down the stretch in a, in a week or so. Um, so you come in first year and everyone does the basics, uh, all the courses, engineering, medicine, we all do the same maths, physics, chemistry, just so everyone has the same level of knowledge going into second and third year. Um, then second and third year are very much science-based. Um, third year kind of more moving towards animal. You do breeding and genomics and physiology, for animal physiology. And then when you get into fourth year, it's very agricultural-based. You're doing grass production, beef production, sheep. Um, and you, it's, it gets very practical then as well. Okay. And parts of the program, is there anything that you particularly enjoyed as you were going through, navigating your way through the four years? I suppose I'm more practical than academic, so PWE was, was, a highlight. was my highlight, really. Very good. And maybe just get you to describe your experiences, actually, through, through PWE. Um, so for PWE, for animal science, we have 16 weeks. Up, you can do up to 20 weeks. And you have to do four weeks of pigs, sheep, dairy, beef. And if you have prior knowledge, say you have a sheep farm at home, you don't have to do the sheep. So for mine, I began at a farm at home where I started into pigs. And when you first walk onto a pig farm, you will be just, oh my God, it's just time, it's efficiency. It's totally different to what we were doing at home. Yes, yeah. Um, so it's such a wake-up call. Um, from pigs then, I went to sheep. I went to Denmark with two other animal science students. So you had the travel bug as well, you were keen to, yeah. to see what people were and doing. And I didn't think I would have the travel bug before I went, and now I have it, and okay. it's not going away. <laughs> <laughs> so how was that? How was Denmark? Um, oh, it was fantastic. There was 800 joes, um, lambing down to three weeks, less than 3% mortality. Like When you go to these places, the experience you get, and the farmer we were with, I mean, he was a wealth of knowledge. Like It's very hard to learn those kind of things in a classroom. You have to go out and you have to experience it. And I think that's one fantastic thing about UCD is you get that opportunity. You have both go. opportunities, yeah. the academic and the, the practical aspect. And there was another international um, experience as well. Yeah, and then I went to France as well. I went to INRA, which is Europe's top research institute, um, which is another amazing opportunity. I went there for dairy, uh, the dairy and beef. Um, there's I think six experiments going on that I was I got to be involved in all of them taking blood samples um grass samples uh, everything you can imagine there was genotyping it, it was just unreal to see it and such a massive 
area and you just got to do whatever you wanted. Do you know, they're absolutely fantastic and the people you were learning from are world class. And did you travel to France on your own or were any other students involved? Um, in one animal science student went there before me and then I took over from her. Okay. And she okay. finished. So there was continuity in many ways for, yeah. the, for, the, for the farm. Great, that sounds, that sounds terrific. And professional work experience is often recognised and acknowledged. There's again, I think Bridget mentioned the academic or the linkages between academia and the commercial world and companies often recognise excellence in PWE. I think you might have been fortunate that your professional work experience for the quality and what you had achieved during that space of time was recognised. Would you just maybe describe that for people who were, mightn't be as, as familiar with that process? Absolutely. So the way your PWE is marked is there's an interview and from the interview then the top two or one or two from every section of AG are then put forward for more prizes. And um, I won a Keypacks prize, so they sponsored 1,500, two 1,500 prizes. Um, and I was fortunate enough to win one. Um, and I suppose it's just based off of what you've taken out of PWB and your personal development. Like, it's a huge personal development. When you first start and you walk onto your pig farm, you're going, oh my God. But then by the when you're continuing on and when you get to the last farm, you're like, yeah, I can do whatever. I can tackle the world. This is fine. Yeah. And I suppose that's a major thing. Well, congratulations with the award. It's always nice to be, nice to be recognised um, for, for uh, your achievements. Um, and I suppose one of the big parts about UCD, and I know this academic staff are very, very keen on this, and the dean in particular, that coming or choosing to study agricultural sciences at University College Dublin, a lot of the learning, as you mentioned, takes place out of the classroom environment. So whether that's through your, your international yeah. work placements or whether it's through linkages with industry or volunteering or just being on campus here and being involved in various societies and uh, the various activities that are on offer to you, you're also an active member of AGSOC. I am, Can yes. you describe what AGSOC is to people who have um, no idea and Ag some of the opportunities there that are yeah. involved? Um, AGSOC is the Agricultural Society in UCD. Um, I, UCD Ag is just, it's real community really and truly and I think AgSoc is at the core of that it's we organize events and different things we try and get everyone involved we also have careers where we organize the careers fair every year and we have different talks coming in from employers we have loads of things going on and um, there's a new section of it this year that's trying to work with students to f help with the housing crisis that maybe fourth year students can give on houses to younger years but we have loads and loads of events and we have debates discussions industry talk industry talks and it, there's just loads of things like you can get involved with and i think it's it's hugely important and it's, it's probably my highlight of my college experience because when you first come in, in first year it was so easy to make friends and it was so easy to get to know the people in the years ahead of you and the same thing now i know loads of people in the years below me and it's so important because you need that help and like there is such a support network at UCD between the different years like oh, that lecture is a bit rough like you know and <laughs> 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 you want to take notes in that class because she takes all her questions from it. but like it's just so important that you have that help there and it's it is such community at UCD we have our own tea shop where you can get tea and a snack bar for a euro and every and yeah. we have our own common room where I'm nearly the only faculty to have our own common room where you can get the farmer's journal every Thursday and everyone sits around and ch talks and chats and you get to know people from different parts of the country I suppose coming in all I knew was beef in the Midlands I yes yeah do you know I did know and then you're friends with lads down in Cork that are milking cows and you, you get to see what they're at and a lad from Donegal and he is sheep and you know, it's you're constantly learning. But as you said, it's a great, clearly a great support structure for students um, with that transition to university life and maybe to what comes ahead from students who are in an advanced stage of the programme. And it's one of the largest societies, student societies that's on campus as well. And I was told not to fall out with you that you're a pretty keen boxer from one of the activities <laughs> this year as well. Just yeah. describe one of those activities. You were involved in the in the boxing event. As yeah, well. so we do a white collar boxing every year, AGS versus vets. So we get involved with the vets as well, and um, we did six weeks worth of training we got a company to sponsor us and that sponsored all our training so we did six weeks professional training and then we had a big fight night and, right. and the funds from from all of these activities there all goes donated, to charity yeah. so last year ag raised sixty five thousand euro for charity and um, this year we're 
I think we're well on our way anyway. Um, this year we're raising money for Chalk Tom in Kilkenny, which um, is a suicide pr prevention and help for families that are affected by suicide and the cancer ward in Crumlin. So there's, it's fantastic. Like It's great to have these events and it's great to be able to help people. And The events are fantastic too. We had Bingo Loco this year, County Colours... Um, we have loads and loads of stuff. We have stuff all, like, constantly going on. Certainly, lots going on outside of the classroom environment as well, which is great to see and uh, and find. That's great. We've covered lots there. Um, I think during the the, uh, the discussion, maybe again, just your the end is is near in terms of the end of your undergraduate studies. How do you feel about the future? Uh, any advice to prospective students who are considering uh, agricultural science at UCD? Um, I'd say do it. It's it's fantastic. Like I've really enjoyed the four years. Um, coming out again knowing the people that have gone before me is really great you know what they're up to like they can they're still giving me advice all the years that have gone past I'm still talking to them and you get you know when you walk into a company there'll always be a friendly face because like you said all the agricultural companies are full of UC graduates yes, yeah. you always meet somebody that asks you is the tea shop still going or is the milk rice still on <laughs> Um, and then I suppose PWE is another huge thing. You get to know people in companies and you get to know different people and go to different events where y you meet people and you get to network. And I suppose from PWE, it has me ready to go into the industry. That's, I'm, that's where I want to be. That's where you, you really learn, I think. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, listen, thanks very much for that, Eileen. That was great to... to, to share some of your experiences with us and with our, with our audience today. I'm just looking here at some questions that are coming in um, from people who are tuned in. Uh, one of the questions are in relation to the entry requirements for agricultural sciences. I might take that. So to study agricultural science, um, the minimum entry requirements are an ordinary, an O6 or a H7 in any laboratory science subjects. Uh, also Irish, English and mathematics, the same grades are applicable and two additional recognised subjects. So in addition to those entry, subject entry requirements, students also need to meet um, the, the minimum CEO points which fluctuate from, from any given year. Of course there are also many alternative entry pathways and maybe following this session we'll um, highlight uh, and link to our alternative entry brochure which details specifically um, alternative entry pathways of enrolling or progressing to our studies and programs here in UCD. I have another question here Bridget maybe that might be um, interested maybe to, to, to direct in your uh, send in your direction. It's regarding the dairy business degree, and I guess the dairy business degree program sits outside of Omnibus DN250, so students need to apply to that program directly. Would you maybe just explain a little bit about the dairy business program, just briefly, to get a sense of of, of what that program is about? Yeah, I guess at this stage we've had a number of years of students have graduated out of the dairy business program, so it's very much an established program. Um, so the students, I guess, similar. You know, they, they sit in first year alongside um, the other students and do the basic sciences in addition to doing um, business modules. So it is important that it's dairy business. So business is a strong yes. feature of the program. Yeah. Um, in second year, they build on that and they do principles of dairy production with um, Professor Karina Pierce. Um, and they start to get ready for their professional work experience um, in the second semester of stage two as well. So they, I guess, stage two and for all the programs, they sort of build on the basic sciences in first year yes. and start to do sort of principles and fundamental um, modules. Um, so then, I guess... It's it's after second year that dairy business sort of sets itself apart from some of our other degree programs in that the students um, uh, start their PW, which is typically or they're encouraged to go to New Zealand, um, and they they depart for there at the end of July. Um, after they finish their second year exams, prior to that they do. Um, two weeks I think in Kildalton in Kilkenny um, and that's the 
the Chagas partnership in the delivery of this yeah. program. Um, so they do sort of basic skills with them, grass measurement, milking, things like that, that sets them up before they go to New Zealand okay. because when they land in New Zealand, it's bang in the middle of Cavan. So they've Cavan and breeding in New Zealand, which can be quite intense. Um, they, of course, can opt to go somewhere else or to do their dairy experience um, or professional work experience in Ireland if they want to. Um, they come back then just before Christmas, so I think at the minute they're finishing up in New Zealand, um, and when they come back in January, the second semester of stage three is in Moor Park, so that's I guess a unique feature of the program. Um, so they they go to Moor Park and they do grassland and nutrition. Um, they do. Um, uh, a business module um, so they cover the suite of sort of production modules yes, um, yeah. in Moor Park and that's delivered by the Moor Park research staff. In addition to that I guess they do um, uh, a major project down there and they're assigned to a master farmer in the area or commutable area um, and so they sort of learn from that farmer in you know in genetics breeding um, grassland sort of financial and that um, and they produce a, a project at the end of the semester and do a, a presentation um, so they all really enjoy the sort of being in situ in Moor Park I and having bet, that yeah. exposure then I guess in final year they're back here on campus with us and with their fellow students um, and they do you know final year modules um, you know in science in business um, and that finishes them up. Um, Brilliant here. and I'm delighted actually you went through it like that because the structure as you said is a little bit different to mm. some of the other degree programs so um, I hope that responds to the to the uh, query that we've had and I guess it's a very suitable degree for people who are serious about the, their future in the dairy sector in particular um, as well. Another question here perhaps I can take that one is on, on will I be entitled to the green cert or, or to the reliefs uh, for, f that are available for young trained farmers on completion of the Ag Science degrees. Yes, students who complete any of the Ag Science degree programs at, uh, at UCD will be entitled to the same level of exemptions that uh, are available for young trained farmers. So again, we might include that in our FAQs that we'll put up after the session. Um, another question, Bridget, I might come back to you again uh, and we might maybe finish at this one. Um, the agricultural advisor inspector position uh, is always something actually we get quite a lot of queries around. Uh, I guess just the query is, is whether or not uh, these degree programs are suitable for graduates to maybe feature on a panel with the Department of Agriculture, um, Food in the Marine or with Chagas panels, which I'd maybe like to just comment on that. I guess it's probably a, an agricultural advisor or an agricultural inspector mm -hmm. position that's been considered here. Yeah, I guess as a as an industry, we've been lucky in that in the last number of years, both Chagas and the Department of Agriculture have recruited for panels um, every say a year and a half or two years um, for the inspectors um, and also as part of the Department of Agriculture recruitment and then Chagas have also um, put together panels for both the advisor and education they're sort of recruited together um, so our students have been very successful on getting onto those panels um, and also getting jobs of choice out of them um, as Chugs advisors or education officers um, in the various ag colleges across the country and then also in the Department of Agriculture um, and I guess a nice linking program that we run here too in conjunction with Chagas is um, the Masters in Innovation Support and Extension um, yep. that my colleagues Jim Kinsler, Monica Gorman and Tomas Russell um, run in conjunction with Chagas so there's Masters programs, there's a suite of them available from research to taught to distance they're available on our website um, and we found that they have been really good feeders onto the Chagas panel in the, the last number of years as well as, as other career opportunities. Yeah, no, absolutely. That's a great point to, 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 to bring in that the school offer a, a range of different master's programs as well that you can advance your studies um, when you complete your undergraduate degree. I think just in the interest of time, we might uh, conclude at that in terms of the questions that we'll take in. Um, we will respond to any additional questions uh, uh, on our social media channels at UCD Ag Food. 
I want to thank you each uh, for, for getting involved and for contributing to the discussion today. Uh, it was really, really good. I enjoyed it, certainly. Um, just also to flag maybe some upcoming events, the University CEO and Mature Student Information Day takes place on the 7th of January. That takes over, it place over in the John Hume Institute and runs from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. You can register at ucd.ie uh, forward slash myucd for that event. The next event following that is a QQI FET uh, information morning for science, computer science and agriculture, food science and human nutrition programs. That play takes place on the 14th of January in the O'Brien Centre for Science. Again, registration and application for that event is on myUCD. That's ucd.ie forward slash myUCD. We also have some events taking place out in Lyons Farm on the 10th of March. So for students who are studying agricultural sciences at second level, you're very welcome to come along um, and to register to uh, our AgriAware Farm Walk and Talk program. That, pr that event is run in conjunction with AgriAware. And if you go on to www.agriaware.ie, you can register your interest in, in that event. And there's lots of additional events taking place as well uh, during the, uh, the second semester, I guess. Um, if you go on to myucd.ie, we also have signed up to the Unibuddy service where we'll have an ag science student on there who will be able to respond on a messaging f to any questions that, that you uh, submit. So thanks for, for watching. We hope you enjoyed this session. For the Leaving Cert students or sixth year students that are logging in, best wish wishes with your upcoming examinations and with your future course choices. So thanks again and thanks to our panel. Mm -hmm.